So I've been living in RVs and vans for the last 10 years in December, and I've been off grid that whole time, but I'm tired of it because I do not have enough space and I wanna build stuff. I wanna build huge, electrical, awesome, cool stuff. I wanna make long range drones, robots, solar power systems that are efficient, and this RV is way too small. It's driving me crazy. I mean, look at how small this spot is. This is where all the videos are made lately. It is super tiny, it's my whole kitchen. So I'm going to move. I am moving and it's gonna be awesome. I'm buying a house. I'm buying a whole big house. I signed the papers and it finally closed escrow today and I have the keys and I'm going to my new house right now. <laughs> this is my home and I own it. At least that's what the government tells me. Oh my god, this is so freaking great. This is so freaking great. <laughs> oh my freaking god, guys. Fast forward a couple days later and I have everything out of my RV. I also set up my computer desk and my camera. And then we also have my internet set up on the ground over here. And then we have this desk. This is going to be the new workshop. And this thing is absolutely incredible. It's called a Savelle classic and I'm still putting it together but this is how we're going to make some really cool solar power project videos. I mean the quality of this thing is incredible. It's over a hundred pounds solid wood and now the lights on. Check this out. Look at this drawer. How cool is this? This is only like 250 bucks and to give you guys an idea of how big this place is my walk-in closet if you calculate the floor space there is more floor space than my entire RV's front living room, kitchen, and bathroom because the floor space was very small and narrow wherever I walked. So there is more area in my own closet than my entire RV. Hey guys, we got a new TV. This thing is insane and also a TV stand and this couch. How nice is this? It is so comfortable. I love it. I feel like such a good American consumer right now buying all of this crap. Fast forward a couple days later and we have this shelf unit and we have three more on the way. So we have wire down here and I'm gonna organize them. We have hardware like lugs, heat shrink and connectors and stuff. Up here we have our BMSs and then we have balancers, converter board circuits, BMS wires, battery protects, everything you could ever want. And then the work desk, look at this. I have magnetic strips across the top. So it's very similar to my last workshop. And we also have this pull out stainless steel drawer and I still need to organize it but it's looking good don't look over there we're gonna add like three more of these shelves and it's gonna look great so this is like the first video with my new workshop and I got a new stool for this desk and so now I can actually talk to you I'm still waiting for the lights to come so it doesn't look that good right now but how I want to end this video is talk about if I'm going to install solar power for this house. So for the last couple weeks, I've been getting quotes from local solar power installers here in the Las Vegas area. And the prices are a complete ripoff because you won't believe the price gouging that occurs. So you can buy your own six kilowatt power solar panel array and mounting hardware and wiring and inverter. And the permits are a couple hundred dollars. So we're talking like under $10,000 here. These solar installers, almost every single one of them charges over $20,000 for this. And also the commission that they give to the sales guys for these is exorbitant. Like all of this money is going to these administrative costs and all of these sales guys that you see walking around and always trying to sell solar to you. It's absolutely nuts. Also, if I were to do a battery backup system like a power wall, the power wall makes great sense for people in California. And you will see other YouTubers talking about how much money they have saved. But that's simply because California's electricity costs so much more than a lot of other areas. I mean, just to give you guys an idea, it takes four times as much money to buy the same amount of power here in Nevada versus California. I mean, think about also the benefits I have as moving here, which is great. I should also make another video about why I moved here. The amount that I saved through state income tax and also deducting this entire workshop and my office is just out of this world. It's so cheap to live here. 
but I'm hoping a lot of Californians do not come here because I don't want them to change the politics. There are lots of Californians moving here and I hate it, but I am a Californian, but oh God, so much more to talk about on that topic, but we'll do that in another video. And even though this channel has talked about mostly off-grid solar power systems and mobile systems, I do want to build a grid tie system, but I want to do it for as cheap as possible. And I also want to do it legally. There are lots of other YouTubers that have been posting videos of their own grid tie solar power inverter, and it's not to code. There's no permits, and I'm surprised that these guys are not getting into trouble. This is not good. There are safety ratings for every single state, and I've been reading them now, and I'm familiarizing myself with them, and all of these YouTubers don't, unless they actually get it professionally installed. So be very careful when you see advice on YouTube. Even though my channel is about you know how to do it yourself, I want you guys to follow the laws. There are permits and laws for a reason. And it's driving me nuts. It's like all the do-it-yourself guys are not doing it to code. And then all the solar installers are gouging the prices and giving these all these finance options and ripping off homeowners. And maybe the payback period is faster for a family of four and not so much for me. But it shouldn't cost this much. I mean, most of these solar kits can be bought for like $8,000 and they're charging over $22,000 for installation and permits. And I'm like, what are you guys talking about? Or they try to sell you in the idea that the solar installer has a warranty for your system. Every part of your system has a warranty from the manufacturer. Why do you need the solar installer? Why do you, I, I understand why people need the financing, but you shouldn't even have to finance it because it should be cheaper. But we're gonna talk about all of that stuff in another video. I'm gonna do a price comparison of how badly they rip you off. Because as a homeowner now, I am like mad about this. This is like not cool. And everybody in my neighborhood has solar and they're getting ripped off. Another point is that even though I personally like building these electrical projects for fun and I want to save money off of my bill, I do think that residential solar overall is generally kind of a bad idea. I think that we should have microgrid systems for neighborhoods where you have a ground mounted array that is strategically positioned so that it's using all the light it can for the area. Of course, we have these roofs anyways. It, there's lots of other benefits and why not? In a lot of houses, the payback period is like a couple of years. So absolutely, it makes sense for some people. But there's so many technicalities, like the logistics of putting a specially designed solar power system on every single different individual house just seems silly compared to having a grid utility based system that's outside of town and you transmit it efficiently into town. Like I don't see why you wouldn't do that. You have cheaper land, you can set up the array better without any shading problems. It just seems like it's a better use of our resources. There are so many houses that have trees nearby or the roof doesn't face the right way. And I just think that it's illogical. It would be better use of our resources to have actual solar farms set up. So anyways, we're gonna make a whole bunch of videos about these topics and there's gonna be some rants about these solar installers because I got some quotes and I wanna show them to you guys. I wanna show you guys exactly what you're getting, how much it costs for labor and how much people are getting screwed because it is not okay. It is ridiculous. There has to be a better option. So thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad I have a house now. I can actually build these projects with you. Like this is so much more space. Like even over here, we are going to build a huge wooden wall and we're gonna build sample systems for integrating components into like complex systems because I keep getting questions about RV converter boards and AC panels and how to hook it up. And it seems super simple, but it's very intimidating for beginners. So yeah, we're gonna cover all of that stuff. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.